Good morning. I thought I'd give you a quick trip around Port Isaac while the sun is shining, which has been something a little bit lacking in the UK over the last few weeks. Port Isaac is on the North Cornish coast and is probably best known as the filming spot for Doc Martin, starring Martin Clunes. In fact, on the far side of the bay there, you can actually see his house, but we're going to be walking down there in a few minutes anyway. It's a good place to base yourself for a holiday in Cornwall. The only downside of Port Isaac, unfortunately, is the car parking, which you'll see what I mean when we get down into the town itself. We're very lucky that we've actually managed to find a holiday cottage that has got some parking with it, but it is few and far between. You definitely can't park in the centre of Port Isaac. You have to park um, the other side of the headland and then walk down in. Which is not so bad going down the hill, but it's a little bit steeper coming back up. And this is the road walking down into town. As you can see, going down isn't too bad. Coming up, different story. Oh, about to get run over. This is the schoolhouse. It's now a hotel and restaurant. But in the Doc Martin series, it was literally the school. We have the normal gift shops, ice cream parlour, not open this time of the year. Fish and chips, which is only open Friday and Saturday and you have to pre-order, but hey ho. There is rather a nice gift shop here. Thank goodness it's not open at the moment, although it will be later, as we have been known to spend a few pennies in here. I bought two sweatshirts last year, of which I bought neither of them with me this year, obviously, um, because why when you could buy more? Except my husband won't agree with that. This is the playground where the um, school was filmed. It's actually the car park off the hotel. But I expect you'll recognise it if you've ever watched the TV show. And we're just looking down here into the fishing harbour itself. Of course, Port Isaac is also the home to Fisherman's Friends. I'm not going to sing you a sea shanty because you really won't enjoy it. It is rather a beautiful place though, especially when the sun shines, and I do recommend you come and give it a visit. There's a car about to make the turning at the bottom there. It really is very, very tight. I wouldn't want to bring my car down here. This is the Golden Lion Pub. I really can't remember what it was called in the programme. There's something lobster, I expect. But it has got quite a nice toast, which unfortunately has scaffolding out at this time. But there we go, that's life. I don't know if you can see this enormous anchor over here. That must have held down a ship or two, I would think. I do like all the little cottages. They're very sweet. Rose Hill. You're definitely not going to get the car up there. Or indeed, up that road in front there. Nicky B's pasty shop, because obviously in Cornwall you have to have a Cornish pasty. I am quite fond of them myself, luckily it's closed. And then turning the corner here, this is leading down into the main bit of town. We have another gift shop. Not actually ever bought anything from this particular one, but it is open, so I might. Now we're just coming up to the harbour itself. On the right hand side here is a restaurant called The Moat which serves the most delicious food and we do go in there quite often because they do like our little dogs in there. They don't mind them at all which is just as well because we don't go anywhere without them. Here we go, this is The Moat Bar and Restaurant, thoroughly recommended. 
However, on this side of the road, we have Nathan Outlaw's Fish Kitchen, which I would desperately like to eat in, but unfortunately, he has a very sad reaction to dogs and will not let us take our doggies in, even though they are really well behaved. Nathan Outlaw actually has two restaurants in this town. There's one here down the bottom, the Fish Kitchen, and there's another one at the top of the town where I visited last night with dogs to prove how well behaved they were and he wouldn't let them in there either, so fair enough. The Nathan Outlaw restaurants are extremely expensive but I you know, wanted to give it a try for once. However, we're going to Rick Stein's in Padstow on Wednesday instead because he does like the dogs. We have the lifeboat station here as well, which we really couldn't do without. They do a fantastic job making sure that everybody is safe. In fact, last year I sat in the moat restaurant and watched them doing exercises at night, taking their boat out in the dark, just so that they were ready for any circumstances. This is a nice cafe here called the Slipway, which normally has a big awning over the top so you can sit out there even in the rain. However, I don't think we'll be going in there this year because it looks decidedly closed up. While the treats looks open, the sweet shop. And now we're just turning the corner and heading up the hill towards Doc Martin's house. How about this for a bit of contradiction? We have down here, Port Isaac Pottery, shop open, and straight above, come again, we are closed. So which is it, open or closed, who knows? Here we are looking across to the town from the other side of the bay. That is the school over there. We are very, very lucky with the weather this morning because it really has been dreadful here. But it's lovely now. Here we are at Doc Martin's house. I'm sure the people that live here are right fed up with people gulping past. But anyway, big sign up saying private property so we won't disturb. But it's actually called Fern Cottage. It does look very nice, I have to say. A bit out of breath now because <gasps> climbing up this very steep hill. I'm actually heading for that seat up there. There's way up the top there. It's just I've got to survive the climb to get up there. It's called Bert's Chair. And I think it's some um, to do with Bert that owned the pub in, in the television programme. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, if I survive the climb, see you at the top. Just come across this lovely memorial here. Frank Gabman, 1941 to 2017. Love to Rome, but this was home. What a lovely sentiment. Anyway, Frank Gob Gabman, I've spoken your name, so live on, my dear. I've made it. Oh my goodness, I'm just going to sit and recover for half an hour or so. But my goodness, was that worth it. Look at this view. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of Port Isaac. Over and out.